Hey guys, we are back. I know I've said that like a million times, but today was officially my last day of school, and it also doesn't help that I picked up uh, Brink on Tuesday, so I've been playing a little bit of that. Turns out that game's not so great. <laughs> if you're th if you're on the fence about picking up Brink or not, I would uh, I would I would just give you a resounding, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, not that great. Oh well, that's all right. Maybe La Noir will make up for it next week. Who knows? But uh, who cares? Because we're back to playing Infamous, which is guaranteed to be an awesome game, and we're just gonna hit the inbox. Hold on, I actually forgot what the request was. Okay, it looks like a MacBad 2012 on YouTube wanted to see. Uh, ah, yes, this seems to be uh, a recurring question. And you know what? You guys must be more hardcore infamous uh, players and fans than I am, because a lot of you have uh, told me about this feature of the first game and are curious if it's present in the second game, where you can shoot an object just using your primary blast and then drain it. Uh, you know, I don't know how it worked in the first game, but I'm just going to show you, I, I mean, I'm guessing this is what you guys are talking about, so I'm just going to shoot something and then drain, oh, I guess I can't shoot a mattress, so we're going to go ahead and find something else I can shoot that might be, uh, maybe a cone? No, that's probably not going to be a good current. Okay, well, that just disappeared. <laughs> Hold on, wait to, all right, trash cans are going to be good conductors, so let's try this. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like uh, you can drain it, but only for a split second. Hold on, let me, uh, let me get rid of my entire meter here, and then see if it actually does go up, if that helps. Now, you have to keep in mind, if, unlike the first game, when you use your primary fire, which is L1 and then pressing R1, that, that uses a lot of your, uh, your power as well. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, it actually doesn't. It, it takes up very small increments when compared to your other attacks, but, uh... So yeah, it looks like you can shoot objects, uh, such as trash cans or other conductors similar to that. Uh, and you can get your, uh, your juice back. So that I did not know. I, you know, I played the entire Infamous, I platinum the heck out of it, and I had no idea you could do that. So that's weird. Alright, we're gonna go into the second request, hold on. Um... Let's see. Okay, here we go. Almex2 on YouTube, I think, is your name? If not, I'm, I apologize. But he wanted to see all the things that you could pick up with um, Kinetic Pulse. And I just so happen to be in an area with uh, kind of an abundance of stuff that is kind of a good depictor of what you can pick up. So let's just go around and start picking crap up. So here's a mattress. You could do that. Why not? We're going to... Let's try... How about a chair? Yep, you can get chairs. Let's try a couch. You can do that. Let's go for some boxes. Yep. Totally. I like how when you throw it, though, it's all together. Look at that. That's pretty funny. I think when it hits the ground, though, it separates. But still, that looks kind of goofy. Well, whatever. Uh, what else we got? Let's try a couch. Yeah, oh, I'm struggling with that one. Let's see if I could get it out. Maybe. It's like stuck on something. There we go, I got it. Let's see if we could pick up the individual cushions now. Yeah, of course you can. So there you have it, just a couple things that you can pick up. Uh, also cars and a bunch of other crap. But it seems like if it's, if it's anything that's not connected to the environment, uh, then, you know, you can pick it up. So let's try a porto potty. Of course you can. Awesome. So there you have it. Just a couple things you could pick up. If it's not connected to the ground, then you can totally get it. Uh, so there you have it.